So it's the day after the blow. Hold on, hold on. This is how it all started. <laughs> right here, okay? Right uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> no, right here. I'll take blame for this one. So it's still blowing, but not like it was earlier. Uh -huh. um, so we were anchored and anchored well, and we knew this big wind storm was coming in and we were expecting some big boy winds like 30 mile an hour we thought 30 knots ish whatever and we decided that we should move our boat um a little further away from our friends so that in case they have to maneuver from another boat dragging that they could get out of the way two boats had already been dragging the night before and, and it wasn't even that windy no so, so yeah. we we're all a little concerned this guy did really didn't know how to anchor and yeah or didn't have a big enough i don't know yeah um, so we moved our boat about a hundred feet further away from all our friends and, uh, dropped it, it, dropped it, got it, set. reversed it. Yep. It was holding tight. Good. We felt good. And then we went down below and we're just sitting there relaxing and Kayla said, oh, the storm will be here in about a half hour or so. I was actually even talking to one of our friends over here, the Muscanauts. And I said, girl, <laughs> <laughs> they're good they're good people. they're good we love very them. good people <laughs> and uh so i just picked up the phone to tell her oh my gosh the wind it is i mean we were we were going side to side whoop, 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 whoop. that's our anchor alarm by the way yeah it's going off and then that happened we're driving so we'll let the video speak for itself okay I'm straight, the camera's straight, the boat's leaning.
Okay. So, after you watch the videos, let me explain to you how this happened. The, we were facing this direction into the wind, and then the wind went like that, and we were facing the other direction. And our anchor line, the chain, caught a piece of debris in the water that was from an old wreck. Uh, you'll have to see the pictures in the videos to see all this, and you might have seen it. Um, and it wasn't allowing our anchor to stay set. It was actually pulling at our anchor in odd directions, and we were just going. But the, once the anchor alarm started going off, I ran up here and started the motor. I figured, you know, that's a 20 to 30 second thing. Let's go ahead and have the motor started just in case. We expanded our wheel because we got a folding wheel so that if we have to do something, we can do it. And sure enough, we were dragging. And dragging pretty good. We we must have gone three, 400 yards you of had, dragging. You had the RPMs. I mean, you were... I was doing everything I can yeah. to hold it from running into other people, from running into the shore, because we were pretty close to the shore at that point in time. There was a sandbar we had to look for. There was just, there was just so yeah. much going on all at once. And then if you had the wind going this way, then all of a sudden you had the wind going this way. And then you had the wind going, I mean, wind was just coming from We all... had waves breaking over the bow. Oh. Um, and then we get a call from Captain America. <laughs> Well, Captain America's wife. Yeah. Well, Chris Knapp, the Wandering Knapps. We'll put a link to their YouTube channel also on here. Oh, yeah. Um, so they're buddies of ours, and they called us and said, you want Chris to come over? They're right They're right here. Yeah. They're, they're... I could throw a ball and hit their boat. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'm first of all, I was like, eh, yes. Yes. Just send them over. Yes. I, it, I, I couldn't drive the boat and get the snubber off. The snubber is the rope that goes to the chain to keep it from breaking. I'm not arm. strong enough, and my my arms are too short, so there's no way I was getting that snubber off in the winds and the wave, yeah. waves that we had going on. There was absolutely no way. So we were kind of stuck and needed help. So Chris and Jolene and one of the kids dingied over, and Chris jumped off onto the back of the boat, wearing his Captain America shirt. Um, <laughs> And so fitting. I said, all right, what's the plan? And I was like, we got to get that anchor up. And yeah, yeah. So um, he ran up there to work the snubber line and get the anchor up. And he's playing with it and playing with it. And I'm like, I know we're on top of this anchor right now because of having to run the motor and keep it, you know, I'm trying to keep it running other places. There's I know no way it. we couldn't have been. Yeah. And I knew where the anchor was ish. And I knew that we were on top of it. And I was like, what the heck? And next thing I know, I see this big, long pole coming up. And I'm like, what? What? And all I can see is the pole, one pole, looks like a big piece of PVC, but obviously it's not, you know, Metal. type thing. And I was like, all right, just pull it out so we can get the anchor up. And he's up there playing with it and playing with it. And I'm like, what in the world? And not him, but I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And finally he says, all right, he comes back and says, I need a piece of rope, uh, a line, and I got to pull the anchor up. The thing is long, it's bent, it's crooked, it's just, yeah. And our anchor. The, the, not the anchor, but the chain had wrapped right. around it. And that's what was causing us to drag. It wasn't letting the anchor reset. Yeah. So he helped get it so that it was untangled. It's now sitting up on our deck because we didn't want to throw it back in the water and foul the next guy's. Um, you have some uh, other poor, yeah. poor soul. Yeah, <laughs> um, not cool. So, no. but there is a burned out boat. You can't see it. Well, you might all see it. It might be that one right there. It caught on fire the other day. I think when the winds die down, I'm going to take and put it in my dinghy and take it over there and throw it on the deck of that boat. I mean, what else can we do with it? It's probably not a good idea to put it back in the water. Terrible because idea. in yeah. this, we're only in eight feet water, eight feet deep water. So it, that's not a wise decision. And we're not sure if it's a piece of the bimini, if it's a part of the lifelines, if it's a part of the deck railings. We're not sure what it is, but it's, yeah, it's, it's heavy, it's big, and it caused a problem. But yeah. Chris came, got it untangled. We went back kind of to where we were um, and set out some more chain and uh, relaxed after that. Took a, a breath. Bit. Yeah, took a breath. Um, Kayla, yes, we had life vests. Yep, Kayla had her life vest on. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had our actual, um, the actual ones, that the sailing ones that the that really good ones that don't really look dorkish. Yeah. <laughs> that don't look like, what about Bob? <laughs> I had to go find those down below and uh, sent out an SOS prayer request to our pastor who uh, 
Yeah. He sent it out to Realm. Thank you, everybody, for praying for us. Absolutely. You said, we your prayers sent prayers. Captain America over. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we're set. We're anchored well. And, uh, it's still blowing, if you can you if hope, you can tell. Hopefully, this isn't too audibly tore up because of the, uh, the sound here. But, anyway. Uh, the wind. So, anyway. But thank you to the Naps for coming over and rescuing. Thank, thank you for taking us to church two weeks ago. I wish we could have gone today, but the wind was blowing too bad. Um, they have a great little church down here, Blue Water Community, Blue Water Community Church. Yeah, yeah. Um, they got love seats and couches and lazy boys to sit in. It's awesome. Good um, church. And it's good preaching also, <laughs> but you know, um, coffee wasn't bad. You know, they could up the coffee a little bit, but you know. <laughs> But they do, they had donuts. We don't have donuts at our church in Wilkes County. Just saying, Brian. Ouch. <laughs> oh, but anyway. yes, thank you everybody for praying for us. We appreciate um, it. Yep, and then um, that's it. Oh, and our buddy Shung came to visit us today. And, uh, and we're going to go, he's staying in Key West and he's gonna come back up here tomorrow when the wind's not blowing and get us. And we're gonna have fun with Shung. Doing whatever i don't know but he said something about walking around key west with cigars and and eating food cuban food cuban food okay sounds good to me sounds like a plan all so. right thanks for watching bye bye So if I put this into practice, what I've learned about prayer today is I've built my house on a rock when the storms of life it come, it's going to stand. If I don't put it into practice, what I've heard today, the storms are going to come and it's going to be like your anchors tied up in a bunch of trash. And you're going to be blown across the sea of life. And action! <laughs>